And welcome. This is the Green Bar Valley Church of the Nazarene with your daily devotion. Today is Wednesday, October the 23rd, and our devotion today comes from the Old Testament book of Esther, chapter 4. We will read verses 1 through 8. Here's the word of the Lord. When Mordecai learned of all that had been done, he tore his clothes, put on sackcloth and ashes, and went out into the city wailing loudly and bitterly. But he went only as far as the king's gate, because no one clothed in sackcloth was allowed to enter it. In every providence to which the edict and order of the king came, there was great mourning among the Jews with fasting, weeping, and wailing. Many lay in sackcloth and ashes. When Esther's eunuchs and female attendants came and told her about Mordecai, she was in great distress. She sent clothes for him to put on instead of his sackcloth, but he would not accept them. Then Esther summoned Hathak, one of the king's eunuchs assigned to attend her, and ordered him to find out what was troubling Mordecai and why. So Hathak went out to Mordecai in the open square of the city in front of the king's gate. Mordecai told him everything that had happened to him, including the exact amount of money Haman had promised to pay into the royal treasury for the destruction of the Jews. He also gave him a copy of the text of the edict for their annihilation, which had been published in Susa, to show to Esther and explain to her. And he told him to instruct her to go into the king's presence and beg for mercy and plead with him for her people. And that is the word of the Lord. Our article today, written by Stephanie Hendrickson, is titled Courage. Here's what Stephanie writes. I am not a particularly brave person. Motherhood has perhaps enhanced this, having to take courage and face the fears your children may have. However, generally, courage is not a characteristic assigned to me. Therefore, I can imagine what Esther must have been feeling. She had already been taken out on a lot of impossible situations, taken on a lot of impossible situations. Becoming a part of the palace, replacing the previous queen, hiding her true heritage, these all had an element of danger. Surely that was enough. No. Now the entire Jewish community was in danger and Mordecai was suggesting she intervene with the very king who could, would order her demise as soon as look at her if he choose to do so. The kind of courage that Esther and we require is found in God. Through the Lord, we can rely on his strength, timing, understanding, and courage. Through the Lord, we can face the situations that make us tremble. Through the Lord, we can be brave and follow his leading wherever that might take us. Where is God leading you today? Ask the Lord to lead you and provide his courage as you follow. Our hymn to today is Follow On by William O. Cushing. Close behind my Savior would my soul ever keep. He will lead me safely on the path that he has trod. And from Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 6. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. And that is your daily devotion for Wednesday, October the 23rd. Have a blessed day.